Hello. So it's the uh, last uh, Friday of October, and uh, I thought uh, it would be a great uh, thing to just sort of discuss something that I have loved for so many years. Now, a lot of these movies I obviously have enjoyed for, you know, many years. Oh, well, Quiet Place 2 was quite recent, but I really enjoy that film. But these films I'm about to just discuss a little bit here and there uh, are films that are horror. Uh, and the first, like, horror films I have ever really, I really got into. And uh, the first thing I'm going to show is actually quite big and it's over in this direction. So uh, just bear with me for one moment and I shall get it. The uh, films I'm going to talk about are the Universal Monster uh, uh, films. Um, yeah. As you can see, here's the DVDs of uh, Frankenstein, Dracula, and The Wolfman. Now, uh, this set, uh, if you find it online, it's quite pricey. Um, I got this back in 2004, um, and uh, I have loved it ever since. I have kept these uh, busts here uh, in the uh, package. I thought for a while I would, you know, get them and display them somewhere, but I thought, eh, nah. Might as well not just leave them in here. Um, and, uh, yeah, these are uh, some of my favorite films. Not just favorite horror films, but just favorite films in general. Um, because it's the 90th anniversary they, uh, of, the, of both uh, Frankenstein and Dracula, at the beginning of this month, the first Saturday, they had... Uh, double feature of Frankenstein and Dracula and um, you know those two films are 90 years old so 90 years ago the Universal Monster uh, films really debuted um, of course in the 20s they had other films like what Universal did um, some say if you really wanted to count um, the beginning some talk about like Lon Chaney's Phantom of the Opera, the first one that uh, Universal did in 1925. Some argue perhaps like, you know, Hunchback and Notre Dame, 1923 perhaps, but you know. Then uh, there's also discussions of whether that's actually a horror film or not. Um, those films are in public domain though. Um, so anybody can release them and unfortunately uh, you know Universal themselves have never really uh, released uh, on like DVD or even VHS you know or DVD or you know Blu-ray uh, like Phantom of the Opera or even Hunchback and Other Dawn I guess because they're public domain films so many you know release them on home video Regardless of the quality uh, of the films, because, you know, they're silent films. Um, uh, they just, you know, don't bother, apparently. And I think that's unfortunate. Um, of course, these films have uh, been on Blu-ray. I don't have them on Blu-ray right now, but uh, I'm sure one day I will. Um, there's a good set out there of the films. So, uh, here... This is my initial set of films that I got. There we go. There. Then I have some other films, such as uh, The Mummy with Boris Karloff. Um, and all these actually have... Uh, 
sequels and such. So this has all the mummy films, just like Frankenstein's as the uh, Fright of Frankenstein, Ghost of Frankenstein, and. second um yeah there's several others um yeah i'd have to open this up and i don't want to uh, but right of frankenstein yeah this has a uh, right of frankenstein son of frankenstein ghost of frankenstein house of frankenstein and Dracula, there is, um, yeah, the, the, uh, both the English version of Dracula and the Spanish version of Dracula, um, which, you know, the Spanish version in many ways is superior because of the technical stuff they, uh, were able to improve upon when the American Dagleys were done. They were able to review those and do what they could to, you know, improve and make their movie better, or as good as possible. And, uh, yeah, uh, Wolfman, uh, didn't really get his own sequels. Uh, the only sort of, uh, follow-up with this is, um, <clears throat> um, yeah, the only uh, sequel wise that Wolfman gets on the Wolfman set is uh, uh, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman and that's it just the Wolfman and uh, Frankenstein gets, meets the Wolfman Wolfman never got his own standalone sequel where it was just the Wolfman alone he always crossed over with other monsters um, and then that film that set also has like a uh, uh, she wolf of London and um, werewolf of uh, London, which uh, came out before uh, the Wolfman, um, is included with the Wolfman set, uh, along with she she wolf of London and uh, yeah, the, the, these films are excellent. And of course, you know, we have the Mummy, uh, as mentioned. You got all the uh, monster collaborations of these three icons here, and, and here you got, yeah, of course, the Mummy and all the Mummy films from the Mummy's Hand, Mummy's Tomb, Mummy's Ghost, and Mummy's Curse. <clears throat> the Invisible Man, uh, which uh, tomorrow after seeing this, you know. Is well the thirtieth, October thirtieth, uh, tomorrow, or tomorrow the thirtieth, and today is the 29th, Uh When you see this, uh, the Invisible Man and the Wolf Man will actually have a double feature tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'll see it on the big screen, but if I do, that'd be cool. Um, but yeah, aside from just the Invisible Man, there's the Invisible Man Returns, the Invisible Woman. Invisible Agent and the Invisible Man's Revenge. Uh, Claude Rains is also not just in this, but in the Wolfman as Larry Talbot's father. And then there is the creature from the Black Lagoon and has the trilogy. Uh, not just, yeah, of course, not just Creature from the Black Lagoon, but Revenge of the Creature and The Creature Walks Among Us. And these have uh, great special features. Um, these, uh, Three films had uh, stuff with Van Helsing, you know, because Van Helsing was the uh, big film sort of of the time uh, in 2004 when th these came out. Um, and prior to this DVD, these DVD sets, and, and I got this big thing at Best Buy at, uh, I think it was not only just a sale, which is another reason I was able to get it when I was 10, but... I think the price had gone down to where it was like, uh, I think it was actually earlier in the year, like around summertime, and I got it near the fall, and so I guess because, you know, 
like fall time around October, you know, mark this off at a decent price so people might want to buy it. And uh, I got, uh, of course, these films. Um, <clears throat> I think it was actually about like 50 bucks when I got it. Um, and it was marked, I think, something around like 70 something dollars. Uh, when, you know, normally it was around a hundred or in the hundreds of dollars. So it was out enough time for it to naturally sort of go down in price a bit. And then with the, uh, money they had off like the, the sale and stuff. So they cut the price a bit. It was fairly affordable getting these free films as well as the bus, which are a sort of like a limited thing. So I got something that's quite, I guess, very quite valuable uh, with this uh, set. And then, of course, as the years went on, I was able to get Christian from the Black Lagoon, The Mummy, and The Invisible Man. Um, I love these films. Um, <clears throat> again, when I was like six years old, I saw these for the first time on like television or VHS and such. Um, and I fell in love with them. Um, one thing I uh, also want to say is um, uh, Lon Chaney Sr., who of course was a Hunchback of Notre Dame and uh, the Phantom of the Opera. And uh, of course, you know, Lon Chaney Jr. was the Wolfman and also played Dracula and Frankenstein and the Mummy. He's the only actor to ever play all those parts, uh, by the way. Lon Chaney Sr. and Lon Chaney Jr. are uh, actually my cousins. Um, on my mother's side, uh, a uh, great great grandmother's, uh, or my great grandmother's, uh, uh, her aunt, so I guess my great great aunt, uh, married one of Lon Chaney Sr.'s brothers. Yeah, she became a Chaney. And so, because of her being Lon Chaney's <clears throat> uh, sister-in-law, that is how uh, my relation to Lon Chaney and Lon Chaney Jr. is. And so, you know, I already enjoyed these movies quite a bit, um, as well as like Phantom of the Opera, which I do have, but you know, it's not unfortunately in part of like a set like this, and I might talk about that some other time. Um, but, you know, hearing that, uh, Lon Chaney, Lon Chaney Jr., or my cousins, maybe, I, I, you know, enjoy these films even more, knowing, like, oh, it's my cousin, sorts, and, um, I even said that once in, like, elementary or middle school, some people thought for whatever reason I was lying, and I thought, you know, as years went on, like, if I was gonna lie about being related to somebody who was famous, uh, I think I would have gone, I would have said uh, like I was related to someone like Brad Pitt or somebody who was very big and popular of the day, not somebody who most of my friends and classmates have no clue uh, even existed until I pointed them out. Like, uh, I believe we were like watching The Sandlot in, in a class once, like around like uh, Christmas time or something, and uh, <clears throat> Like, just one of those days where not much to do, you know, gonna go on some sort of break, so, you know, just sort of having, like, a lazy day in school, and so, in the same line, you know, the Wolfman was playing, and so, I'm like, oh, there's my cousin, and whatever, and I was trying to explain, but people that were, weren't believing me, and yet, I'm, again, it's like, you know, if I wanted to lie, I'd be like, you know, it was, my, uh, I, I'd be like, you know, Brad Pitt or somebody who was big and famous. Uh, I mean, he's still very, uh, very popular now, but, you know, you know, even back then, he was still been very, very popular and well-known. Like, you know, if I wanted to really, uh, <clears throat> lie about that, I would have, uh, sent somebody who was more relevant and not somebody who they really didn't 
uh, know about or even heard of. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I uh, I love all these films. They're all excellent, all incredible, um, classic movies. Um, you know, Boris Karloff, Bela Lugosi, uh, Wong Chi Jr. played these parts fantastic um, and all of these uh, monster films are, are always great they're always great to watch uh, around Halloween time always great to uh, uh, research and learn about like the creation of these films and um, you know just whatever it is you can find out about any of these movies it's always fun to research and look at um, and I always enjoy um, that sort of stuff so yeah uh, that's my thoughts on these uh, classic films you know great films and I may one day uh, talk about these sort of individually in their franchises of sorts um, not sure when that will be but um, maybe next year, you know. Um, the Wolfman also is 80 years old, which also explains why uh, they're gonna have the Wolfman for a double feature uh, with the Invisible Man, uh, which next year will be 90 years old. Same with the Mummy, um, uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon came out in 1954, uh, so. It, uh, you know, he, uh, it won't be until, like, you know, it'll be, uh, 70 years old, uh, in three years. So, uh, it's, yeah. Yeah, these are great films also, um. I saw Wolfman first, because, you know, uh, of these, because, you know, of my, you know, my relation to Lon Chaney Jr., which I found out, like, after watching the movie, as well as uh, seeing the silent uh, ver uh, film version of uh, Phantom of the Opera with, you know, despite, like, no sound or anything, that's an incredible film. Um, great performances and atmosphere the film has is great um, I really love it um, uh, I hope to talk about that sometime in the future also um, but yeah just want to sort of give an overall overview of sorts of my thoughts on these movies my enjoyment of them uh, especially since these seemingly start of the Universal Monsters really came out uh, back in 1931. Of course, you know, 1925, 1923, and some of the other stuff of Universal might have done beforehand. 1931 seems to be the true beginning of uh, the Universal Monsters run. So... Yeah, so celebrating 90 years, um, somebody who uh, watched them when I was very, very young uh, and enjoyed them uh, thoroughly and still do, I, uh, you know, I love these films. Um, what do you think about these movies? Um, do you enjoy them? Uh, do you prefer one over the other? one set of uh, the monsters like one monster over the other or uh, do you like them all equally you know for me I like the wolfman and not just because of the my, being my cousin and all I just like how you know he's like very he's a very sympathetic character Larry Talbot didn't want to you know be a werewolf you know he gets bit by a wolf uh, trying to save someone's life and uh and being bitten, then trans he transforms into a wolf. Uh, and 
and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's unfortunate, but um, <clears throat> yeah, you know, he, be he becomes a like a, he's like a hero and a monster in a in a very sympathetic way of sorts, and uh, yeah. So, what's your favorite monster? Uh, which of these, and maybe yeah, the sequels, which do you prefer? Um, yeah, I do think it's a shame Wolfman never got his own standalone sequel. He was, you know, any sequels that the Wolfman got was always with Dracula and Frankenstein's monster and others. You know, he never brought his own. Um, but, you know, the movies are all entertaining, even if perhaps the quality, as some of them went on, declined. They're still entertaining. They're all, at the bare minimum, within an hour or so. So, they're not very long films. Um, so, you can always keep that in mind. And I believe uh, they've had, uh, there's like a streaming service where they have all these uh, Universal Monster Films on, though of course this is now at the very end of the month, but when you're seeing this, but still uh, I think that uh, it's worth to mention, so if you haven't seen any of them now, and you have like Peacock uh, g give a few a watch, and if you enjoy them, you know, seek out like perhaps some of the, like the the new DVD set of all the movies, or the uh, Blu-ray set. Um, they also, for those sets, they do have Phantom of the Opera, but it's the 1943 version with Claude Rains as the Phantom, and also it's in color. So um, there is that. Uh, uh, if you want to get the uh, original 1925 Lon Chaney Phantom of the Opera, the silent film version, uh, Kino Lo Lober, Lober, yeah, yeah, Kino Lober, uh, uh, has it on their website you can get, so, um, and excellent quality, um, so, yeah, uh, anyway, uh, that's, uh, all I have to say, uh, I really love these films and they're classics and deserve all of the praise that they have gotten. You know, particularly the very first films of these installments. Um, some of the sequels, again, might not be the best, but they're all, all entertaining, uh, at least to me. Um, so, yeah. I hope you're all having a great day. Hope you're week has been great and I hope your uh, weekend will be excellent and I hope you all have a great week. See you all next time. Bye.